Hello everybody, it's Gaming on Linux Guide. Today, I want to show you this great native game. Yes, I'm going back to it. I decided to go back to my GNG because I am the GLG. So, what I have for you today is I'm showing off this wonderful game known as Total War Warhammer 2. It's going to get a DLC very soon, and I have been greatly enjoying it. I am playing as the Lizardmen, which are sort of like... Well, there are two sides, but they're both kind of lame in their own regard. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so my current characters, the Lizardmen, are genetically engineered super soldiers meant to fight the forces of chaos which are trying to blow up the world and uh i mean there's like a greater campaign but sometimes i just like to play the uh sometimes i like to just play this vortex i'm not the vortex that's the main campaign the um you know big paint the entire map your color kind of thing the, uh, how oh, is this called? The Mortal Empires, excuse me. Though I will say, it is not exactly the cheapest game to get into, but it will probably get a little bit cheaper as, you know, time wears on. Because the third game in this trilogy will be coming out in the next couple of years. And, uh, yeah, but this game definitely suffers from DLC fatigue, I like to call it, because there's just way too much DLC. And, uh, you know, it can be expensive if you try to buy it off a sale. But I would say that if you're a fan of the Total War series and sort of want to get into Fantasy Warhammer, this is the way. Great, wonderful game with pretty good graphics. I mean, these graphics don't look wonderful because I'm playing it on medium because my computer could only run this giant world on medium. But overall, it's a great game. Um, so there's this whole like grand strategy level, which I'm currently playing right now. And, oh, which one do I want? Uh, Skinks, Saurus, I'm with Source Warriors, my big beefy boys. So, yeah, so I like to play as a Lizardman. But I also enjoy playing as, oh, so many choices. I also like playing as, you know, the Skaven, kind of the, on the opposite. They're crazy rat men things with that love genetic mutating their own species it's weird but you know this the stories you get out of this are pretty enjoyable and you'll definitely if you buy it get probably thousands of hours out of this game i currently am not very good at this game so i've got like 50 hours in it um, but as you can see, I am enjoying it anyway, and of course trying to get better always because, you know, when you're better at the game, you can play the faction better, play against harder AI, and just have those wonderful moments of ecstatic bliss where you absolutely out-tactician your AI opponents. Or, you know, there's a whole a online community that's pretty active. Which is pretty awesome. Uh, not a lot of strategy games these days get a very big audience. So it's pretty awesome that the Total War series, especially this Warhammer one, which I'm a big fan of, has been able to garner so much attention and love. Oh, there's our Skaven right here, rat guy. I need to take him out. Because he is not doing good things for my general health in terms of my, you know, population. Uh, yes, I want more magic. Uh, okay. 
And I want you to walk here. I'm trying to rebuild things as fast as possible because I want to be able to not, I want to not lose that settlement. And while I'm here, I might as well take out these little rat boys. I got some new unit experience ranks, so that's pretty awesome. And I got rid of that Skaven, who my creatures greatly despise. And I got a new skill point. There's this big old skill tree you can pick from. Uh, let's see, this one makes your character very, very strong individually. But this one sort of makes your army strong. These are like super special ones up here. This one seems interesting. Dealer and death. Very interesting. And down here are sort of the, um, you know, your typical support things. Like if you want to make sure that there aren't rebellions, you can invest some points in some anti-rebellion stuff and you can like protect your capital with it with a particular like lord so right now i'm just trying to siege this place Ooh, hit that pretty well so i'm just trying to siege this my enemy's capital while, unfortunately, this guy is running around ransacking all of my cities, which I absolutely hate. Because it is just making it abhorrent to try and make sure that I don't go broke trying to fix my buildings, which they keep hurting. Because I unfortunately don't have big garrison in some in most of my towns. So thankfully, he's finally in range here, so I'm going to try and take him out, and then I have to go deal with these orcs up here, because they're probably going to, ooh, nice, probably going to try and mess with my steez, you know, trying to mess me up, and I don't particularly appreciate that. So I'm going to keep damaging the walls. So my siege is better. I'm going to come over here and try and... Sue. That's pretty powerful. I'm going to siege this place. And... Who's this guy? Oh, right. That lord. Uh, I'm kind of making him stronger in general. But I'm honestly kind of disappointed as skill trees as they're not very good. Uh, so this guy, I want you to fight him. Um, oh, he'd retreated. But I'm going to try and force him to fight. He retreated because I can just smash him. And then eat the corpses. Because lizard men are crazy. Ooh. Okay, so I want him to go over here. This guy, I want to try and make sure that this doesn't go crazy. Oh, right, of course, no wonder my public order is going down. All my buildings are, like, broken from constantly being ransacked. Oh, what do I got here? I'll just wait until I can get, like, a public order thing. So that I get less rebellions. Uh, magic item drop chance. And sequence of the purpose. Oh, that'll be interesting. Pterodon research. Siege construction. Alrighty, continue that siege. Who's got a skill point? This is my little... Oh, no, this is actually my... Very strong, um, for some reason. Uh, my very strong hero unit, who, uh, for some reason, is getting crazy power 
right now, even though I have pretty much zero in, you know, assigned battle skills to him. This guy does have some battle skills to him. I'm going to keep going with some of this weapon strength to increase how much damage I do. Let's see, I don't want to pull him off there. Okay, I need him to go... Okay, so I don't want to cause a war. Because wars are costly. And I'm already in a very costly war as it is. So I don't want to declare a war right now. I mean, they've only got like two cities, one they took from me right here and their you know wonderful capital right there but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna get him I'm gonna get him I have a lot of strength at the moment so I am going to put my all into ransacking their capital although I have to be very careful as to not lose this battle because if i lose then i am probably going to have most of my units annihilated some extra leadership uh who could use leadership i'll put it on this guy and they want to fight so i'm going to fight all right here we go So, our armies, in terms of just actual units, are pretty even, but theirs are a lot higher tier. They've got artillery and stuff. And this guy is just kind of being running around like a beast with his, uh, like, tier 1 <laughs> units. Because why the heck not? Uh, I could really use some more magic in this fight. Uh, yes, bigger reserves. Sweet, that means more magic. Alright, I'm going to start this battle. Actually, I'm going to pause... No, apparently I'm not going to pause this battle. Uh, okay, we'll do. going to make some flanks and stuff. Okay. So, oops, I am actually getting completely bashed yeah, I don't like it very much this guy I'm gonna have him run into the monstrous units all right let's see what I got here can I overcast that no no I can't overcast any of these all right that's fine they're still pretty powerful all right let's see what I got here these guys go on here this guy's going here, so let's see. I've got to hit this one with some spells. And then I will bring him in here and cast my Supreme Shield of the Old Ones to take a whole lot less damage. And I have upgraded it so that it has a much shorter cooldown. So here we go, Shield right here. And then I would like it if you would please hit those ranged units. And let's see. Where is this guy? This guy is fighting these monsters. Because he's cool. And I'm going to run up behind this ranged unit with this little squad right here. Ranged units, as you probably can infer, are absolutely terrible in any sort of melee capacity. So, let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try and do some of this because they're pretty grouped up. And I want to try and do some real damage over here. And that doesn't hurt my units. There we go. That was a pretty good explosion all right let's see who is this who is this this is lord croak he's gonna go chase down this this group of units 
Is there any enemies in here left? Yes. Okay, you guys are going to go over here and leave this little squad to fight ghost pirates. Because that's cool. I mean, honestly it is, but I'm going to need to move some of my squad over here. Alright, let's see. What kind of magic do I have? Uh, man, this thing is pretty long range. I'm going to cast another spell over here. Again, they're grouped up pretty hard. Don't uh, you know, give me any sort of damage, knock them down, pretty good spells overall. There we go, look at that, all that big old damage. And let's see if I can't get a couple of my units and try and take out the enemy lord. And he's dying. Okay, he exploded. I don't know why he exploded. Again, I don't know a huge amount of this game. But it looks like he his units died, so he died, or something like that. Yep, every single one of them died. So, I might eat their corpses to regain some health, but hey. We'll have to see how that goes. Alrighty. So... Thank you very much for sticking with me. I know this has been a little bit of a longer video, but, uh, you know, this is a great game. I would wholly suggest it. And when this video is coming out... Ooh, Armor of Destiny. Goodness gracious. That's pretty crazy. Um, uh, there will probably be a winter sale coming up very soon. So definitely check this game out if you got a little bit of cashola on hand. All right. Make sure to subscribe and stuff to you know, help me out and help people, other people out who want to see some more Linux gaming content. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful